impediments in place without impediment. The restoration of the former Dunedin prison is two large 100 kilogram steps closer after this morning's hard work. The two semicircular pediments were an integral part of the building's frontage, but were removed in the mid 1950s. It's a pretty significant day because, um, <clears throat> yeah, we have a, a photograph, photographic record of these pediments being here, these um, semicircular pediments being here. Uh, in the very early 50s, but 1957 they'd gone, kaput. And I think for most Dunedinites, um, they probably do have no memory of what the architectural grandeur of this place was. Restoring Dunedin's former prison to its original glory is taking the Dunedin Prisons Charitable Trust a considerable amount of money and a lot of work from dedicated professionals. Hi, I'm Daryl Bazer. 15 metres up, standing on scaffolding in the courtyard of the former Dunedin prison. Behind me, the first pediment has been erected, and the second one is going up just behind the camera. We'll see how that goes. Architectural consultant and project manager for the restoration, Guy Williams, believes when the building is fully finished, it will be another piece of Dunedin's feature architecture. Um, it's, it's a really uh, significant area, and this place, um, with its architectural detailing, the decorative detailing put back on will fit very comfortably within that, uh, within that rather delightful, um, you know, architectural expression that is this part of town. He says the original architect, John Campbell, also designed several other significant buildings around the city in his notably flamboyant style. Williams says this part of the project is very close to its $600,000 budget and the Trust is grateful to many organisations who are helping them to fully restore this grand 120 year old building to its original glory. Darrell Bazer, The South Today.